Price can be a barrier when it comes to buying a camera. Even when it comes to buying little action cameras like the GoPro Hero action camera. They just released the GoPro Hero 11 black coming in at 500 us with the 11 mini coming out sometime soon it may already be out but although this video isn't about either of those cameras i'm going to show you an awesome gopro vlog kit the one back there just just may be worth it when it comes to saving money on camera gear this is a camera that you'd want to look into if you're wanting a video camera other than your phone to vlog with and create your online content to build your brand and online presence Budget is a major barrier to what you can or have access to. Something like the Sony a7 IV can be way over budget coming in at 2500 US for the body alone. Something like the R10 and the Canon R7 both coming in at nearly 900 or to 1500 US for the bodies alone. And the Canon RP coming in at 999 US for the body alone. Or the Nikon Z30 coming in at 1100 US for the body alone. And something like the Canon M50 coming in at 540 US for the body alone. There's a lot of bodies alone in this video, but I think the Canon M50 is way more reasonable when you think about what you will be using it for. I do wanna say the Canon M50 body alone is close to what that kit back there cost. The entire GoPro kit that I'm gonna be telling you about. But although I would recommend going with a used camera to break down the barrier of budget over quality when it comes to buying a camera, a great professional grade camera like the Fujifilm X-H1 would be great. You can take a step back and go for the Canon RP if you can find the Canon RP used at this point and take another step back like way, way back and go for something like the little Canon M100 if you don't care about audio at all and you're only posting on Instagram and TikTok. These are basically all great starter cameras ranging from a camera you can do professional work with to a camera to take photos for Instagram, blogs, eBooks, and infographics. But if you are not ready for that, then something like the GoPro Hero 8 Black paired with your iPhone or whatever phone you use just may be the best option for you because with the cameras I just mentioned, you also have to invest in lenses as well. And disclaimer, this isn't an in-depth review of the GoPro Hero 8 Black. This is just a breakdown of the kit I would get as a vlog setup if I were looking for a vlog camera right now strictly for vlogging while using the phone to take photos. But here are all the pieces to the kit and prices. The GoPro Hero 8 Black comes in at $310. The GoPro Hero 8 Black Media Mod Kit comes in at $79. The Display Mod comes in at $79 as well. The Tripod Mount comes in at $20. Or you can get the GoPro Shorty Mini Extension Pole, which comes in at $24. You got the Rode Video Mic Go 2 coming in at $95. Or the Rode Video Micro coming in at $50. And if you want to go with a wireless system, you can go with something like the X5 U6 coming in at $139. All of this is US prices. Prices may vary, let's just leave it there. But for a vlog setup, this is what you would go with if you were on the market for a vlog camera, specifically a vlog camera. Now let's tally all of this up. I broke this up into different kits and let's go over kit one. The GoPro comes in at 310, the media mod kit 79, the display mod kit 79, the tripod, 20 row video might go to 95 and the total was 585. Now without the dis display mod, the total comes in at 504. Now for kit two, the GoPro again comes in at 310. All the prices are the same. The mod kit 79, display 79, tripod 20, row wireless micro 50, and the total was 538. Without the display mod is 549. Now let's go with kit three. GoPro coming in at 310, media mod 79, display mod 79, tripod 20 x5 coming in at 139 and the total is 627 without the display mod it is 548 okay with all of these kits displayed here for you to see when thinking about the price of the gopro here a black kit any variation or any of the new gopros for that matter you can go with the canon m50 and invest in an ef m to ef adapter get some old ef professional grade lenses for steel and have a great setup there are also a few third-party lenses out there that does wonders for the Canon M50. Or if you already have an iPhone or some sort of phone that has a cinema mode that can emulate shallow depth of field, then when you want to get some stylistic shots that has depth of field, you can use that shooting mode on the phone to better help you with your visual storytelling aspect of 
content creation or just the content you're creating in addition to the gopro vlog kit of course and i will argue that audio is the most important part of this entire setup so either mic option is great the internal mic and the mic on the media mod kit but with the media mod kit you can attach a shotgun mic or a lav mic to get even better audio so if you want to start off without using an external mic then i would say just start off with the gopro alone because as long as you keep the gopro within a decent range it will pick up your voice and with some back-end editing and processing Processing, you can have great audio and good image quality with this $300 camera, which quickly goes up as you start to kit it out. So just build up from there. Now with this kit, make sure you prioritize audio even over the display mod. That's just in my opinion. Also check out my GoPro Hero 8 Black Vlog right here or the playlist of the GoPro videos I've made already. Thanks for joining and subscribing. Stay awesome.